In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this simple graphic of a shield with the flag of St. George on it, and I'll show you how to manipulate a sword graphic to give the crossed swords behind the shield. Open the file with a sword graphic. You can download the file Sword 4 from my website or make the graphic yourself. Press the minus key on the keyboard to zoom back. Every second press of the minus key, the grid density changes. Four squares become one square. Keep pressing the minus key until the sword is approximately 13 squares tall. Click the Bezier Curves tool to select it. By default, Snap to Grid is on. Come two squares in roughly in line with the top of the blade, hover over a grid point and click, count six grid squares to the right, hover over a grid point and click, count eight grid squares down and three in, hover over a grid point and click, hover over the first point until it turns red and click. Click the Edit Paths tool. Select the bottom control point. Click the Make Selected Nodes Smooth button. Then click the Make Selected Nodes Corner button. Drag the right handle two squares up and one square to the right. Drag the left handle two squares up and one square to the left. Click the white colour to make the fill white. Press the keyboard plus key to zoom in. Click the rectangle tool. Count six squares down from the top of the shield and three squares outside the shield. Hover over a grid point and drag a rectangle to three squares outside the shield, two squares down. Click the Edit Objects Colors button. Click the Stroke Paint tab. Set the Stroke to No Stroke. Set the Fill to Red. Right click and Duplicate. In the Object menu, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Click the Select tool, select the shield, hold down Shift and select the horizontal stripe. Now if I go to the Path menu, Intersection, I get a trimmed stripe which I want, but the shield is gone and the stripe is white. So I'm going to hold down Control and press Z to undo that. Select the shield, right click and duplicate. Change the fill colour of the duplicate to red. Hold down shift, select the horizontal stripe. In the path menu, intersection, and we get a trimmed red stripe and we still got the shield. Repeat the process, select the shield, right click, duplicate. Change the fill colour to red. Hold down Shift and select the vertical stripe. Path Intersection. Hold down Shift and select the horizontal stripe. Still holding down Shift, click on the line of the shield to select it. And click the Group button. The sword isn't grouped, so select the blade of the sword. Hold down Shift and select the other parts of the sword and click the group button. In the object menu, click transform. Click the rotate tab and set the angle to 45 and apply. Close the transform window. Click the duplicate button. Click the flip horizontally button to flip the duplicate. 
Now only the duplicate is selected, so hold down shift and click on one of the lines of the original sword and click the group button. Press the left arrow on the keyboard to move the swords to the center. I'm going to line up where the swords cross with one of the central grid lines. Select the shield and press the right arrow key of the keyboard to move the shield to the center. Line the center of the shield up with the same grid line used to center the swords. You have to decide the relative size of the shield to the swords, the relative position and whether you want the shield in front or behind. I'm going to press the down arrow key to move the shield one grid square down and in the object menu raise to top to bring the shield to the front. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the graphics channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.